Howdy y'all, I'm Brylin. In this video, I wanna show you how Billy here absolutely destroys Kami Law and admits that she's been an absolute disaster for the border and it's not gonna get any better. In fact, in one of my recent videos, I showed how Obama sabotaged Kami Law's campaign. It's called, He Just Destroyed her campaign, but now Billy wants to join in the fun and say the quiet part out loud. Real quick, would you consider hitting that thumbs up button, you know, when you like this video to get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. Real quick, before I show you this, the Border Patrol Union just posted this on October 14th. Check it out. On behalf of the 16,000 men and women represented by the National Border Patrol Council, we strongly support and endorse Donald J. Trump for President of the United States. I mean, is this really a surprise with how much of a disaster Slow Joe and Kami Law have been on the border for the last four years? And Kami Law just promises to continue to do the same things, only add more and more radical agendas to the border. In fact, look at this. This is just the number that we know of. This is them giving us the lowest possible number they feel comfortable lying about, okay? We know it's much greater than this, but they've let in over 10,680,000 uh, illegals into the country. Look at where that ranks in terms of population for each state. It outweighs the population of like 40 states. Not only that, but look at the percentage increase since 2021 of illegals in all of the swing states. These states are very important, by the way. Look at Georgia, a 400% increase in illegals. Uh, you, you look down here in Arizona and in Michigan, a se over 700% increases of illegals just in those states. And Michigan and Arizona aren't looking too good for commie law right now. But Again, these are the types of uh, states where the left wants to ban voter ID, just like California did. In fact, listen to this real quick. This is Border Patrol telling you what's going to happen if you vote for commie law. America, I have a message for you. If we allow Borders R. Harris to win this election, Every city, every community in this great country is going to go to hell. The untold millions of people unvetted who she has allowed into this country that are committing murders, rapes, robberies, burglaries, and every other crime will continue to put our country in peril. He's not lying. I mean, that's just the cold hard truth of the matter is that Kami Law has been a disaster on the border. She's the one that was put in charge of the border. What's happened? We see that the border is at one of its absolute worst that it has been in the history of our nation. And he's right. Kami Law has let in at least 1.7 million that we know of, okay? The number, of course, is much greater than that, of potential national security threats into the U.S. during time as Ziza. They are knowingly bringing people into the U.S., allowing it, not accidentally, but allowing these national security threats, people who are violent, uh, gang members, whole entire gangs from other countries coming into our country. Look at, look at Aurora, Colorado. The lamestream media doesn't want you to believe that what happened in Aurora is true, but the people who live in Aurora say otherwise. Who are you going to believe? Lamestream media or the people who live in Aurora that are showing you video evidence of these things happening. And just a little reminder as well, remember when Mayorkas said back in June that they had plenty of money for FEMA to help with disasters and then came out and said during uh, Hurricane Helene, oh, actually we ran out of money. We don't have any more money to help anybody for the rest of the hurricane season. Well, Come to find out they were diverting like over $600 million for illegals. And never forget that Kami Law said an undocumented immigrant is not a criminal. Let me translate that for you. An illegal immigrant is not 
illegal. Makes total sense, right? In fact, Kami Law is such a horrible leader, such a horrible vice president, and she has done such a horrible job with the border that even Bill Clinton thinks that Kami Law has done a horrible job and admits that we are reaping the consequences of the absolute destructive leadership of Slow Joe and Kami Law Harry. You had a case in Georgia not very long ago, didn't you? They made an ad about it, about a young woman who'd been killed by an immigrant. Her name is Lakin Riley. That's the young woman whose life was taken by the illegal. Yeah, well, if they'd all been properly vetted, that probably wouldn't have happened. <laughs> really, Billy? But if they all properly vetted, and that doesn't happen, and America is not having enough babies to keep our populations up. Really, Billy? So we need immigrants that have been vetted to do work. There wouldn't be a problem. And he couldn't keep people all torn up and upset. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. It's twofold. Billy just admitted that Slow Joe and Kami Law have been absolutely horrible for the border. If these illegals were properly vetted, and went through the right process to become legal citizens is essentially what I'm taking from what he's saying, then we wouldn't have had the death of Lake and Riley. And we wouldn't see the absolute spike in violent crime. We wouldn't see our economy getting tore to shreds. Not only that, but he admits that people aren't having children fast enough. There aren't enough children being born. Hmm. So the party of death... Uh, and, and that wants to take as much life as they can in the womb is now admitting that the population is in a decline in a negative way that people that Americans aren't having enough children you know what's happening here is you're seeing billiam admit the truth he's he's saying the quiet part out loud he's saying the things that he's not allowed to actually say but well oopsie daisies it's the truth. The left hates this when the left slips up and accidentally tells you the truth. They can't stand it because they don't want you to know the truth. Remember, their truth is just made up truth that goes against other made up truth and whichever made up truth is more radical becomes the new truth until something more radical overtakes that. And it's just a spiral of destruction. I just want to remind you that Kami law vows to sign the bipartisan border bill opposed by nearly every Senate Republican. After decades in law enforcement, I know the importance of safety and security, especially at our border. Last year, Joe and I brought together wow. Democrats and conservative Republicans to write the strongest border bill in decades. The Border Patrol Why? endorsed it. But Donald Trump believes a border deal would hurt his campaign. So he ordered his allies in Congress to kill the deal. Well, I refuse to play politics with our security. Wow, and here is what a my liar. pledge to you. As president, I will bring back the bipartisan border security bill that he killed, and I will sign it into law. Listen, one of the main things that Kamala is running on is saying that Trump opposed the border bill that would have saved the border. All of this could have been averted. The border could have been completely 100% secured for the last four years. Make no mistake that this bipartisan border bill that has some rhinos uh, <laughs> endorsing it would have let in over a million illegals every year. It would have let in thousands and thousands of illegals every single day. And it would not have put enough border agents uh, on the border. It wouldn't have done enough. Nothing about this bill would have actually secured the border. It was a fraud of a bill, just like the uh, re uh, Inflation Reduction Act, which was a climate bill in disguise. All it did was skyrocket inflation. That's all this border bill would have done. It would have skyrocketed illegal crossings. But we don't have to fear these people. None of this is meant to be a scare tactic, but instead for you to see the truth. But check out what Psalm 103 says. It says, For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those 
who fear him. You know, we should have a reverent fear of God. We should not fear man. We should fear God. You know, this isn't talking about having a fear of God like an unbeliever has, where an unbeliever's fear of God is based in eternal death and eternal separation from God and judgment from God. But our fear of God is based on a reverence for God and his power and his might and his truth. And it's telling us that God has such a steadfast love towards those who have a reverent fear of him. And it goes on to say that he will have compassion on those who fear him. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, join this community. I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And please hit that thumbs up button. You know, when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.